It's an enormous task just to get started, just to go to square one to be able to use the machine, so to speak, in this case, reading and writing. Writing is its own form of language. And we know this if we learn how to read a foreign language, that you might have no idea of the sound, but you can learn to decipher that code. On the other hand, you can learn to hear a language and speak it without ever really knowing how it's spelled or how it looks on a page. Connecting those two codes is a third operation. So we have writing as one code that you can read. We have sound as a code you can understand. And then we have making the relationship between writing and the sound. And that, again, is not a natural relationship. It's a learned relationship. What has to happen is your phonological processor, your orthographic processor, your meaning processor, and your context processor all have to work in concert to identify the written word. How do we take something that has so many variables, so many possible connections and combinatorial options, and do it without having to think about it? How do we turn this complicated set of relationships into a skill, ultimately? that can be run in effect as though it was a computation. The key is that, of course, what we're really doing is we're taking something that is a nightmare for computation, and yet we have to turn it into, as we mature, both as language users but also as readers and writers, we have to automatize it so that we don't have to think about those details. Accuracy and automaticity or accuracy and fluency with a code enables comprehension. Laboratory data has underscored the importance of automaticity, that is, the importance of being able to recognize the letters, recognize the words, recognize with, uh, so that you could attend to their use, right? Read quickly. The problem with automatization is that at any step, if you've got a slowdown step, if any piece of that enterprise has a block, or you can't hold enough of the information, the whole house of cards falls apart. That, that is critically important. To the extent that I have to invest um, real cognitive energy in figuring out what that word is, I've lost the meaning of the sentence. It's gone.